Welcome to the fucking metaverse. I think I would be a, a little, have a little less existential dread if I believed in ghosts. But yeah, really, I, I think it might have the reverse effect. Really, it did on me. Is it? Yeah. Is it the idea that I don't like the idea that there's nothing after? It's a, it's just it's done and then it's done. Yeah. Yeah. No fun. Do you believe there's nothing after? Are you like that atheistic? Yeah. Wow. We once got really drunk in L.A., uh, like, I don't know, six months ago or something. Oh, God. And I was like, and I was trying to convince him that he should believe in some kind of power power or some kind of, I don't know, have some form of spirituality in his life. And uh, and his reaction was like hitting the table. Like he was so, like the repressed anger this- that came out of him when I was like, dude, you really don't believe in anything? And he was just like, leave me alone. Like, no, I can't is, deal with this. It's Goblin Greg. Yeah. yeah. There's great, There's a flip that gets switched at some point. And um, these kinds of outbursts, like this what kind do you of... Want, what do you expect from me? I was a poet. Like, I you think, know, yeah, I think like there's a, this simmering yeah. existential dread at all times. Yeah. yeah. It's just always on the back burner. Well, yeah. you came from like a Catholic family, right? Like, you Well, yeah. Like, and so I would read a lot of theology, like yeah. as like a precocious, weird middle schooler. <laughs> yeah. Um, that makes sense. I, that. So, I see that. Um, and I was like, yeah, like there was a while there when I was like in ninth grade, I was like, I want to be a Catholic priest. And like, you know, so it's like you only get to like the weird, fucked up, crazy existential. I mean, once you've, you've, you know, you've delved into del- that, a del- bit, delved right? into like, that other yeah. stuff. It's, it's not as intense if you haven't like, uh, it's kind of perfect gone the other way. Greg, uh, I sleep, I sleep like an angel. Greg puts his hands together in prayer when he sleeps. Yeah, it's very weird. Like, like I'm ready to go. 